Hello Leos, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, because obviously it hasn't happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Leos this week? Queen of Wands. And the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Tower. Okay, just to switch things up. So Queen of Wands basically is the energy of you being very magnetic, very alluring, very, um, it's almost like when you feel attractive, the world kind of sees that way too. I always get this energy as a reader of this of being very physically attractive or feeling your most if that makes sense and then everything else falls into place um, which is a weird thing to say because your looks aren't that important but they're making you feel your, your value is going up they're making you feel your true value which is obviously again not real but um, I don't know it's that energy of going and making sure you get your nails done or making sure um, you feel and you look good look good feel good is what I'm trying to say basically so if there's something you've been putting off doing but you really want to do um, I feel like this week's gonna be that week where you I don't know get your hair done or go shopping and get a new wardrobe I don't know but it's it's gonna make you feel more attractive because you feel good I don't know. I don't know how to word it. My words have gone. Um, it's just kind of like a glow up energy. You're glowing into how you want to look more and more. And as you're doing that, your life and your health and your, um, I don't know, some of you, for some reason this is leading to other opportunities because of your confidence rising. Because your confidence is rising as your looks are falling into more alignment with who you see yourself as, your confidence then becomes more secure and your personality falls back into place. Some of you, maybe you just haven't been feeling your best and looking your best and you don't realize that they are tied together for some reason, even though that's kind of like an ego thing and it really doesn't matter how you look on the outside, it's about how you feel, sometimes it is tied together. I'm gonna clarify the Queen of Wands and then read the other cards. Queen of Wands clarified by the Eight of Cups. Also, you could be letting go of a part of yourself. If you're not part of the younger audience watching and you have like gray hair now or gray hairs coming in, you're like embracing your natural side to like actually liking it and finding it attractive, which I don't know, like, and others of you, it could just be something else. Maybe you naturally have something about you that you hide. It could be like a birthmark on your face, but you cover it with foundation. Um, you're going to embrace it and it's going to make you more attractive. There's, there's a way to bring it out more, if that makes sense. It's like you don't need to hide it, it's actually going to be better for you to expose it and to do, use it in some way. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is the energy of... This is kind of knight in shining armour energy. Leo. So either this is you or someone else coming towards you to help you um, or you're helping someone else and I'm going to clarify it and see. The Emperor. Oh okay, Emperor. So some of you have like, um, really weird, but there's somebody like a boss energy that is going to help you. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that. They're going to pick you back up. So this could be somebody that owns their own business. This could be, um, well, it's a boss. They're the boss. Um, they're going to see your potential. They're going to see your skill set and hire you or something. If you already have a job or if you are the one working for yourself, then it's probably you taking someone under your wing and helping them out because the emperor is here. And it's just, for me, that's someone that is an entrepreneur or has their own business, has their own, they're their own boss. So if it's not you, it's somebody else taking you under their wing and vice versa. 
um, because there's a there's a value, there's a skill set, there's something where it's obvious. It's obvious and it's also the right time for you to leave a certain situation if you do work for someone and you're very unhappy. It's like this person knows about it. Clarify the Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups is the energy of like romance and somebody kind of having feelings for you, flirty energy, um, knight in shining, not the knight in shining armor is knight of swords, which I've already spoke about. Knight of cups is more like chivalrous, and yeah, there's someone around you that's wanting to hold the door for you and wanting to do nice things for you. Nice things, can't speak. Um, there's someone that wants to. Someone very caring is around you, so you could have somebody like looking out for you over the top this week. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like, you might be a little bit annoyed by it. Random. You're like, okay, calm down. Calm down now. It's actually just annoying. I just want to have a nap. Clarify the night. That's so funny. Why is that? Clarify night cups. The lovers, the queen of pentacles, the two of pentacles. Huh. Yeah. It's like two of pentacles. It's just like, yeah, you're good in small doses. Like, I just need a little bit of balance here. Two of Pentacles can be, like, balancing things. And with the lovers, there's a lot of love around you right now. With the Queen of Pentacles, very mother-nurturing energy. But I feel like you want your own time. And there's somebody else distracting you from nurturing what you want to nurture. So maybe you have, like, a business. Maybe you have your own job that you're trying to water and look after and bring up and then there's like someone else and you're like yes yes I'll give you a I'll give you attention I'm here but can I have like 50 50 please can I have my own time so somebody could be just very obsessed with you and they like want to talk to you 24 7 um it's it's nice but it's also like do you not have that's the energy with the two of pentacles, it's like, I've got things to do. Why does this person not have things to do either? As well, I mean. Hmm. Maybe, and for some of you, it's like, hmm. Maybe someone's not pulling their weight. If this is someone you um, are in a long-term relationship with, it's like, well... They're there, and they're there all the time, but they're not there they're just hmm weird energy coming through I'm just getting like false like someone's they say the right things but they don't act the right way or something clarify the tower card nine of swords clarified again ace of wands and the moon so you do have something coming through and I'm only saying this because I'm confident that you're not going to think too much into this don't panic about this I don't say this to the other signs I usually try and dress the tower up a little bit but to you Leo I'm trusting don't blow this out of proportion when I say this there is something that's gonna kind of topple or crumble this week um, it's not going to go as expected or it's going to be so those, those of you where I said somebody could be like recruiting you for a job your job's not going well you might find that you lose your job right before this happens if that makes sense and then they kind of come and scoop you up and say look it happened I'm glad it happened because now I can have you I want you to work with us um others of you whatever this is about this could be um if you're in a relationship and it's been like a little bit on the dodgy side there is something where it's gonna be like you end it, it feels like you're in control because I've got confidence that you're not gonna panic when I'm telling you this you know something is coming to an end or you felt like you wanted to end something for a while because with the tower it's like I feel like you're usually it's unexpected endings or transformation but it feels more like it's unexpected to the other person where they're gonna be like this is coming out of the blue and then you're gonna be like is it so with the job thing, maybe it's you quitting, and they're like, this is random. Um, and you're like, is it? 
you've been treating me this way, I was bound to leave eventually. Um, anyways, so I feel like whatever's abruptly ending, it's you in control. Ace of Wands with the Nine of Swords, it's almost as if you were more worried about wasting time. Nine of Swords is worries, it's also the past, it's worries of past repeating itself. So you could have found yourself in the past regretting wasting time on people, on relationships that didn't see your worth and you regretted not knowing sooner. And this could also be jobs where you didn't realise how replaceable they saw you as until after you left and you got replaced. So there's something where you don't want to repeat that and you want to know that you, this job, this current boss can replace you and you're not, they're not going to, um bat an eyelid in a way so there's something here where you're more afraid of wasting time unhappy out of like trying to stay committed or trying to stay yeah committed to the responsibility or committed to a contract it's like actually be more worried about your time and with the ace of wands there is a lot more spark and enthusiasm for the new whether it be a relationship ending and a new one coming in there's a spark there and if it's a job ending and a new job coming in, it's more of a spark, it's excitement and it's attraction. Like there's something very attractive about the new possibility coming in, where you're switching from being afraid to being excited. Whew, it's quite a like, hectic, hectic week maybe for you. I'm going to wrap your reading up here, thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will in the future, because obviously it hasn't happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tail Tarot Tuesdays.